Okay, so there's been a minor controversy in France. Um, that is involving the culture minister, Mrs. Fleur Pellerin. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that name. Uh, Fleur, Fleur Pellerin. Um, and basically, the controversy stems from the fact that uh, during an interview, she was unable to name uh, her favourite novel by the new Nobel uh, Literature Laureate from France, Patrick Modiano. Um, and she's basically said that, uh, I admit without any problem that I've had no time to read over the last two years. She went on to say, referring to her time in Government first as Minister for Innovation and the Digital Economy and now as Culture Minister. I read a lot of notes. I read a lot of legislative documents. I read a lot of news, AVP, stories, but I read very little. Um, her admission sent Twitter ablaze. I'm reading this directly from the Daily Mail. With many shocked by the fact that a culture minister had not read books for two years and did not know any of Modiano's books. Long live our brilliant government and especially culture, said one Twitter user. Um, sarcastically. But others leapt to her defence or ridiculed the controversy. The worst thing is that if Fleur Pellerin had said she spent her evenings reading, many would have blamed her for not working enough. Um, France is finally facing up to its main problem in this period of deep crisis. Fleur Pellerin has not read Modiano. Um, Modiano, 69, was named the 111th winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature earlier this month. He is perhaps best known for his 1978 novel, Missing Person, for which, for which he won the prestigious Prix Goncourt French Literature Prize. Um, so Mrs. Pellerin uh, has basically re received a sort of slack from a lot of people for having not read it and she is a culture minister. Some would say that's an irony. But I thought a little bit about this and I think the, the controversy is a bit ridiculous because it would be like asking a health minister to be a doctor or it would be like asking a transport minister to be a train driver or asking a science minister to be some sort of scientist. Um, obviously if people are chosen for a cabinet position they should have some experience. But I'm sure Francois Hollande, when he chose his cabinet, would have had good reason for doing so. So the most important thing is that she's good at her job. And I, I see no signs that she isn't. She's been uh, named among the world's 100 most influential women. She's, I see no evidence that she's bad at her job. So just because she doesn't read doesn't mean that she's a bad culture minister. And let's not forget culture crosses a very wide variety of things. It covers art. It covers um, music, it covers sport, it covers a wide variety of things. So I think the critics are being a little bit petulant on this one. Um, a few years ago there was more controversy around Miss Pellerin, although through no fault of her own, when a reporter directly said, do you think that you got the job because you're beautiful and ethnic? Um, she is Korean born, um, so she's the first French cabinet minister of Korean descent. and. Um, in any other country, that would be considered a very politically incorrect sort of question. So, yeah, she's already quite well known in France. Um, my own stance is that so long as she's good at her job, I don't think it really matters. Granted, it is a little bit unusual. Um, but, as someone pointed out, if she spent her time reading books, she would be criticised for not working anyway. So, yeah, um, if you're French, let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, do you think she's a good culture minister? Do you think the controversy is ridiculous? I think it is a little bit petulant and I think um, it's basically a non-issue in some ways. The reason I want to make a video about it is uh, I want to hear French opinions on this. I want to know do you think it is legitimate to criticise her for this or do you think France has bigger priorities? I would go with the latter.